What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well today. So today we're going to be playing some Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game tongue twister royale number two. So the reason that I'm playing number two very randomly is because it's actually on uh, sale on Steam right now. I'm guessing for Black Friday. It's 85% off. Um, but I've bought a bunch of DLC with it as well and included in that is just a few rider gears um, and other compound and such. But in today's video, I'm just going to be doing some standard Supercross and see how it goes. Now, I'm really playing this because I've never played 1, 2 or 3. The only games I've played is three and four, is 4 and 5, sorry. Um, I did just have to scrap one recording of this because I rode so horrendously, crashing every other corner, it was embarrassing. Um, so I've spent about 20 more minutes getting my head around it, working out how it handles and... I'm a little bit more confident now, so that's why you see the uh, level 2 at the top right, rather than just being level 1. Uh, if I show you quickly my customised rider, you can see he's um, he's a fine specimen of a man, to, uh, to put it nicely. Um, so I'm not going to be using that, because I cannot be bothered ranking up my bike and things like that. We're just going to stay with our boy Dino right here. And what I'm going to do, actually, is play... Oh god, where was it? So if I go to single player, uh, single event... Have a look. Do you want to start a new single event? Let's do new. I've actually found, if I go 450, track selection, <clears throat> online tracks, and if I go along to most liked, you will find Mr. Start Your System himself, Kellen, as a track on here, which I am going to play. So, most likes. Come on, game. Take your time. There we go. Right. The SYS special. There's also tracks on here by Donut, Moto A Go Go, Tylin, um, but I just thought it's it's a very long track, but uh, it's enjoyable at least. So we're going to give this one a go and see how it goes. And race options, let me just see what my settings are all on. Uh, AI difficulty, let's even on medium because obviously I'm still pretty crap. I've uh, got the advanced physics rather than the standard ones. And then uh, just got rewind on because I'll probably be down horrendous at some point. And we'll see how it goes, really. But hopefully it's okay. Hopefully I don't suck too much arse this time. Hopefully you guys enjoy as well. The crowd is into it tonight. That will definitely get these riders... Yeah, but who asked, Ralph? Okay, moving on. So, <clears throat> I'm going to throw it out there. Now, I'm probably going to get some very, very angry people in the comments of this video. But this, this is all my opinion, of course. So take it all with a pinch of salt. I don't play these games that often, this is just from a, a newbie's point of view. But where I've gone backwards, so I've gone from number five down to number four, uh, down to number two, I really don't feel much of a difference at all. I'm hoping that is just me and that there are actually some big changes from game to game. But in terms of the actual physics and, and riding, I can't tell much of a difference, which is really bad to say, but I feel like for the most part these games, they do end up being a lot of uh, a lot of copy and paste from one another, which is quite bad in a way, you know, people spend a lot of money on these games. Now, I do feel sorry for the console players, because see, console players, they don't get to enjoy games like MX Simulator or MX Bikes and that, that more hardcore, let's call it, uh, motocross game. They just have to deal with the ones like this, and... There's people that love these games. Don't get me wrong, you're all entitled to your opinion. I, I I, am just one man, you know, I've got an opinion that, for the most part, doesn't really matter. Um, but if you was to sit me down and say, right, you have MX vs ATV Reflex here, or you've got MX vs ATV Alive, and then put any other console motocross game next to it, I would have to go with Reflex or Alive every day of the week. You know, there's, there really is no comparison. And I know that things happen, um, like the, the whole thing kind of got disbanded. I believe all the files for Reflex got lost or something along those lines, which is why we can never get a Reflex 2. But I feel like surely it's going to get to a point where people get so frustrated by what gets released, whether it's an MXGP game or a Supercross game or an MX vs ATV game like the recent ones. With all the physics and how it all works, people are going to get to the point where they go, you know what, I'm just not going to buy it anymore. And then I think that's the point really where the companies are either going to go, right, we need to do some major rethinking here and reworking, or they're just going to stop and we'll get one. Earth <laughs> Random tough lock floating in the air. Or altogether, they're probably just going to scrap it, which is going to be a really, really sad day, for, especially for the console players. Now, 
I don't make games. I've made that very clear over years. I am nowhere near smart enough to even begin trying to work out how to make games. However, would it make sense from a developing standpoint to study the games like Reflex and Alive, see how the bike moves, see how it handles in relation to players' inputs, and then try and make something as close to that as possible? Because surely you can't get in trouble for like, there's no copyright involved or anything like that, it's still under MX vs ATV brand and so on and so forth, but someone did comment that on one of my videos, like why can't they just look back, even though they don't have the files for these games or the coding for these games anymore, why can't they look back and use it as a reference point? Because everybody loves them. And I, d I don't think it is pure nostalgia, because if it was nostalgia, people wouldn't still be creating tracks for Reflex and like still doing competitions on it and playing it. I'm so, so sorry that I keep crashing. That's one thing I noticed about this game, is if you get one thing wrong, all your momentum is just completely gone. So trying to be as smooth as possible. And if you think this is bad, Oh my god, you should have seen my first attempt at recording this video. Oh, I must have crashed like four different times in the first set of whoops on that one. It was so embarrassing. But I've got a f I should have, I think I've got a funny screenshot out of it. For some reason, my, um, you know F12 when you're playing on Steam? Uh, my F12 button where you take a screenshot, it's not working on this game. And another issue that I used to have, which apparently affects all milestone, or all older milestone games, is I could never play the game if I was connected to the internet. Uh, whether I was on Ethernet or whether I was on Wi-Fi, the second I launch the game, I think it shows the milestone logo for 0.2 of a second, and then it would crash instantly. And I spent about a half hour, well, I mean, my old solution used to be, right, I'll just turn the internet off and play it offline. Uh, but then you, like, some of these games might still have populated lobbies that you can still play on, which would be a nice, nice idea for future videos. And uh, some games you can't even access the downloadable or the DLC if you're playing offline as well. So I spent some time online digging about, seeing what I could find, and I did find a fix. Uh, it's some very weird and wonderful uh, computery stuff that, again, I actually don't understand. I just done what I was told. And you have to do like the Windows and the R key on your keyboard to bring up the command stuff and enter some details and just blindly followed it. I could have been deleting System32 for all I know, but <laughs> thankfully that didn't happen. I've got it working now at last, which is nice. So if there are any of the older games, I know MXGP Pro still gets a lot of love from people. I might hop on one of them games and do some online racing now and then. That would be nice to mix it up a little bit. And it really, really does beat just playing single player all the time. Kellen, am I meant to be able to double that? Because that is a hell of a huck. I know that I'm a lot more trash at this game compared to yourself, sir, but God damn it, make it a little bit easy for me. I'm a noob. Look, I'm treating these sections like whoops. I like rollers. Um, but one thing is nice. The AI, they are not stomping all over me this race. Probably could have put them up a little bit harder, but I was actually... <laughs> I was on easy difficulty in the last recording, and they were they were duking all over me, so... Short time to improve, but it was definitely needed. I definitely needed to sit down and just play it a little bit more. There we go. Um, I did, so with all the bunch of DLC that I bought, got like a, it's called the playground as well which is a nationals track and three supercross tracks it's okay it's nothing amazing it would have been nice if maybe there was some trails or some enduro stuff in there as well um, but it looks like it's just in a massive like it's not a quarry but it's got like abandoned warehousey type buildings as well uh, I, I keep slowing down for this because I keep thinking it's just the over under jump it keeps sending it uh, but yeah it's not it's not terrible by any means um, but I don't know if it's worth the money. If I probably would not recommend going back and buying all these things nowadays. But I suppose when the game was out, it was it was probably okay. And the more I'm playing this, the more I really dislike the newer games because they've really not improved upon anything or much, if anything at all. I don't even think there's more in the way of customization in the newer games. There's actually quite a lot of. Uh, gear and, and boot selection in, in, in terms of customization on this game the only issue is it looks like you do have to play a decent amount to get the money to be able to afford and unlock them uh, that's that's the only downside i can think of i'm sure i don't know if there's i mean i used to get cheats on games like reflex where you could unlock all the gear or unlock all the, the pro riders and stuff i don't know if something like that exists for these but it's not something that i'm gonna be diving into on this video i just want to hop on and really compare the two games and see how they go um, I mean, I think that would do it from the racing side of things. I'm just going to go do a little bit of, I think a little bit of free riding. I'm going to go to the, the compound that I downloaded or the playground and just show that off a little bit for you guys as well.
Okay, I completely lied. I'm loading up the compound rather than the playground. So the compound is what comes with the game. You've not got to download it or buy it. The playground is separate, but I just weren't really enjoying it that much. So we're playing on the uh, on the compound instead. So this comes with the game. This is the base of it. And it looks like it's exactly the same thing. So we've got three Supercross tracks and one MX track. Um, I mean, first things first, I may as well go over to the MX track. Okay, so I guess scrap that. The fact that you have to actually complete a full 450 season to even play a track in the compound is actually disgusting. Uh, what What is that? What, whose idea was it to do it that way? Um, okay, I guess I'm going to the playground, which I downloaded, which I should hopefully be able to play all of. Right, here we go. So I should hopefully be able to play all of these tracks without having to uh, play the game for a couple of hours beforehand. So, oh, I just want to say as well, I actually quite like the, uh, the bike sounds this game i think they sound quite nice so this is the it's exactly the same as the compound basically we've got one nationals track and three supercross tracks i mean there's a supercross track down here i think the game it actually the game does look really nice like i can't take anything away from the visuals and for some reason when i loaded this up at first i was quite blown back i was like oh for the age of this game it actually looks really nice and then i thought hang on it only came out in 2019 it's actually quite recent still and for some reason i just feel like these games they're much older than they actually are oh god there we go i forget that they kind of rinse and reuse the same thing every single year so scrub a dub dub i noticed that it's quite easy to get the back end to step out in the air on this game it's a little bit more challenging on the other hand to bring it back around i feel like bringing the bike back around straight is very very difficult to do but it's fine but you can see nationals track got no issues with nationals whatsoever it's much more flowy much more free there's a couple sections where where it really slows down it might get a little bit sketchy here and there but i think it works so much nicer you've actually got time in the air on the jumps to move the bike around and whip a little bit and there's just something about about it that i personally just enjoy much much more than supercross so i guess i'm playing the wrong game really can they make a i mean it's lucas oil isn't it or is it is it still monster, monster energy for the outdoors or is it purely lucas oil I don't know, can they make a, a Lucas Oil Pro Motocross, the official video game one, next year, please? Because I'd absolutely love that. Nice that they got some collectibles dotted around here. Uh, I already collected one earlier just to see what it was all about, but I guess you get a prize at the end of it, and knowing, knowing this game, it'll probably just be like a custom helmet or something in the customization side of things. I remember when I was uh, proper grinding out number five when it first came out, um, I was playing, you know, the, the custom tracks where you just build like a circle to get really quick points and XP and fans really quickly. I was playing that over and over and over, just trying to unlock like the gold uh, CR125 for a video. And then I think the video done shit. <laughs> I think I think it done really badly. I was like, oh great, there's multiple hours of my life just wasted riding round and round and round in circles. But it's fine. I, I kind of... I do actually really like the whole grinding aspect of these games. There's something about it. I think in all games, I've been doing the same on COD recently. I've got about 20 gold guns on COD, even being away from home for two weeks. I've been really sweating it out. And this is going to be off topic. Um, I hope that you haven't just clicked on this video because you're a Monster Energy fan and you've never watched my videos before, but I quite often do this in videos where I'll go off talking about something completely different, so I hope you don't mind. Um, I've been playing some DMZ on Modern Warfare 2, and... First of all, I actually really enjoy the game mode. I've never played like that sort of game mode. It's very Escape from Tarkov, -y, where you have your loadout, you spawn in, and whatever you extract with, you put in your inventory. What well, if you die, you lose it all, and you have to kind of go bare bones from that point. So, in playing that a bit, I had such a stinky run of it last night. Uh, I spawned in, died like almost instantly, so lost two contraband guns. I then spawned in again. My internet disconnected for a split second, so my game closed because it said disconnected from Steam, lost another gun. I then loaded it again, and my game crashed, so I lost another gun. So I was literally down to nothing, so I've had to been slowly rebuilding myself back up. Um, but it's good game mode. I actually do really enjoy it. I'm not a massive like, Warzone fan by any means. Battle Royales just aren't really my thing. I'm too old, I, I can't keep up with uh, all the kids running around and bopping everyone. Because I've got... I think my KD is like 1.4, 1.5. So you do tend to get people that are good at the game around that area. Obviously, it's not massive like two, three KD lobbies, but still sweet enough. They all run around with bloody CDL skins and, and paid stuff, and I'm just here with the stock the stock character. Like, please, leave me alone. Please let me be. Uh, but it's, it's a fun game. I have been enjoying Modern Warfare too. I wouldn't recommend buying it at full price because it literally just feels like Modern Warfare 2019. Uh, but... 
I don't know if it was on sale for Black Friday, probably not, as it's just released. It might be on sale around Christmas time. I'd definitely recommend giving it a go. Because uh, the game's going to be out for two years now as well. They're not going to be releasing another COD, uh, like, next November-ish time, whenever they usually come out, October, November. Uh, it's going to be two years. So, yeah, get on it. Grind away. I've been having some good fun. Um, and I think... I don't know how long I've been recording here. I think I'm going to cut a little bit of it out because I was having some issues on the compound before loading this up. But it's not a bad game by any means. Uh, I I definitely wouldn't go out and start grinding it all the time. But I think it costs maybe like... It costs under a pound, I think, for me right now. Something like that. Something stupid. So, 85% off for Black Friday. If you've not bought it yet, go for it. I don't know if the, uh, if the multiplayer is even existent. I don't know if there's anyone online. I've not tried it myself. In a sad way, I really think it's just as comparable as Monster NG5. I don't think they've really made any changes from one game to another and now I can see why people were so upset when I was playing 5 because I've not played all these other games and I've not experienced it or burnt myself out on them. I didn't really know just how samey same they were so I mean I hope they do something like big in the future. They, they probably won't because it's, that's how big companies work, you know, they, they do care about the uh, the bottom dollar at the end of the day more than the actual user experience. Uh, one thing that I thought was quite funny, uh, I mentioned in the recording I was trying to do previously, is, do you, I, I don't know what round it was, but do you remember when, uh, I think Jet won a race, I f can't remember if it was Supercross or Outdoors, I want to say Supercross, but he won a race. And on the podium, he started talking about how he was playing MX Simulator. And then it's like, it almost really urgently cut away from the interview and st went straight into uh, Supercross 5. Uh, <laughs> it was either Supercross 5 or Legends. I can't remember which one it was now. I want to say it was Supercross 5. It went straight into an ad. And I just thought it was so, so funny. Uh, but they just pushed these games so hard down the consumer's throats. And I think these games are more more meant for the, the casual motocross fan rather than like proper hardcore riders and players because they do suit that player base a lot more they're not going to know all the ins and outs and how the bikes handle and stuff if they've never ridden before um, but for me personally not something i can see myself playing all the time i really don't mind for a video here and there and if the online works now that i've got it all working happy days i'll definitely give it a go uh, but i think they'll do it for me i think i've talked to you guys with my very mediocre riding for long enough if you've enjoyed the video Please just do uh, drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know your thoughts on these games and what direction you think they're headed in. Uh, I'll be more than happy to, uh, to read it all. But that'll do it from me. Hope you have a lovely rest of the day, whatever it is that you're up to. Until I catch you in the next video. Peace. One of them make it, I guess, you know I live with the criticisms People are giving up, beginning to put it upon the pedestal A pen for your thoughts, but I never ask for change My work ethic's ridiculous and yours is not the same I swear to God that I wrote it all with a pure intention The truest testament with no excessive false aesthetics You couldn't imagine a fathom the effort I'm exuding My heart is so